Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about the abstract factory design pattern. This pattern helps us to make a product or an item that are assembly for, from a lot of different items or products. As you can see over here, this is an abstract product A and this one is an abstract product B. Each one has a virtual function that I'm inheriting from it and they are implement in the products. After I'm set with the products that we, I need for the software that I'm building, I can build a factory that will make me the product more easier than I will put it in the main each time I need it. As you can see over here, the abstract factory have two virtual functions and they are implement in the concrete factories. You can have a lot of different concrete factories to make whatever product that you need for the assembly of the product that you want to make. Let me show you the code in C++. This is the product. Over here we have abstract product A and abstract product B. And over here we have the product that we need to make. And over here as well, product B. After we are set with the product that we want to make, the classes that we need, you can go to the factory to make the classes. Each one of the factory have an abstract factory inheritance, and in it you have two virtual functions. In this example, you can have one if you need, two, three, four, whatever kind of product that you need to make, you can make it over here. This is the different factories. As you can see over here, in concrete factory one, you make all the functions are product A1 and B1. And as you can see over here, in concrete factory two, you make product A2 and product B2. Over here in the main, you can see that we have an abstract factory. We don't know what kind of factory you, you will need to make in the first time. You can ask the user what kind of factory he need or, or assembly the code that you need. Over here you can see that I make concrete factory one and he will make me the product of factory one. And as we moving along, you can see the factory two and he will make me the product of factory two. You can see you can see the running of the software over here. Factory one make me product of one. It's mean the product A1 and product B1 and whatever kind of product that I need for this factory. The same as concrete factory two. So this was an abstract factory design pattern. This is Moshe. If you have any question, you can write it down or email me. Have a good one. Bye-bye.